Welcome to the Home Science lesson on concept of development. In this lesson, you will learn about basic concepts of development, principles of development, what is more important heredity or environment. You'll also learn about factors influencing development and the types of development. Let's begin. In the world of home science, development doesn't just mean growing taller. It also includes changes in personality, emotions, and skills like speaking and socializing. Now, let's clarify the difference between growth and development. Growth is quantitative, think height and weight. On the other hand, development is qualitative, involving all aspects physical, cognitive, language, emotional, and social. Next up, we have maturation and learning. Maturation means that certain skills like sitting and walking are in our genes and they develop when the time is right. Learning, on the other hand, is acquiring new skills through experience and practice. Our heredity, the genes we inherit, shapes our personality. But our environment, including family, school, and friends, influences how much we develop these inherited traits. Moving on, we delve into the principles of development. Development follows a pattern and sequence. It happens in a cephalocaudal and proximodistal sequence, starting from the head and moving towards the extremities. Development is linked. Physical, mental, social, and emotional development are all interconnected. A healthy child is likely to be socially and emotionally stable. Growth is predictable. Because children grow at steady rates, we can predict their early development outcomes. Body parts develop at different rates. Different parts of our bodies grow at different rates. For example, the brain matures by 6 to 8 years old, while the heart and liver grow around the same time. So, what causes individual differences in development? It's the interplay of heredity and environment. Both play significant roles, and it's challenging to separate their contributions. Now, let's talk about factors influencing development. Nutrition, early stimulation, and parenting all have a profound impact. Nutrition is crucial, and a balanced diet supports healthy growth and development. Early stimulation, like talking to babies and showing them pictures, fosters their physical and mental development. Moving on, let's talk about the types of development. There are four main types. First is physical development. This includes changes in body size, like height and weight, as well as motor skills like walking and writing. Next is cognitive development. This is all about how you learn and process information using your senses and memory. Moving on, we have social and emotional development. In this, you learn to interact with others, share, collaborate, and manage your emotions. Finally, we have language development. Language is vital for communication, and it includes speaking, writing, and understanding words and symbols. In the early stages of life, babies undergo incredible changes. Let's start with height and weight. Imagine a baby's growth is like a plant. At birth, an average Indian baby measures about 17 to 21 inches. By one year, they've almost doubled in length, reach ING to 8 to 30 inches. And at two years, they're typically 30 to 34 inches tall. But what about weight? A newborn in India usually weighs between 2.5 to 3.25 kilograms. It's normal for babies to lose a little weight in the first few days after birth. By four months, they usually quadruple their birth weight. And by one year, they triple it. Now, let's talk about bone development. During infancy, bones start to stiffen. However, baby bones are fragile and can be easily distorted. To avoid flat heads or chests, make sure to change the baby's sleeping position every few hours. Teeth development is another milestone. 
teeth begin forming in the baby's jaws as early as the third or fourth month of pregnancy but usually don't emerge until around five to six months. The first teeth to appear are the central incisors, followed by the lateral incisors, canines, first molars, and second molars in a specific order. Moving on to early childhood, from ages to 2-6, growth slows down compared to infancy. It's during this time that children learn essential skills like walking, running, and dressing themselves. In terms of height and weight, children in this age group typically gain around 2 to 2.5 kilograms and grow 2.5 to 3 inches annually. Their body proportions start to resemble that of a kid, with slower head development, quick limb growth, and a medium trunk growth. Next, let's discuss body types. Children begin to exhibit different body types, such as endomorphic, ectomorphic, and mesomorphic, as their body proportions vary. In early childhood, bone development continues. Children appear leaner, thanks to bigger, stronger muscles. Moving on, we'll explore the motor development. Motor development involves muscular movements, both gross and fine. Gross motor skills involve controlling large muscles, like crawling, standing, and walking. Fine motor skills, on the other hand, involve using tiny muscles for tasks like grasping, turning pages, and buttoning. As children grow, they gain new motor abilities. For instance, sitting without support is a significant milestone, signaling the transition from infancy to early childhood. In early childhood, gross motor skills become more refined. Children learn to jump, skip, hop, and run with more control and accuracy. Finally, fine motor skills develop further through activities like tearing, cutting, pasting, and threading beads. And with that, we wrap up this informative lesson. For additional information on this lesson, please look at the content below the video in the online course. To get a list of the important questions and their answers for this lesson, please refer to the guidebook by our publications provided to you with this course for free. It shows you a list of all the questions that have the highest chance of coming in your next exams based on research carried out on previous year question papers. All the best, and I'll see you in the next lesson.